Hey guys, we're Adam and Steph, and we're converting this old school bus into a tiny home. This week, we've decided it's finally time to let a little bit more light into our bus with some beautiful frameless RV windows. This story starts 10 months ago when we sheet metaled up the sides of our bus, taking out the original crappy bus windows with the plan to install RV windows where we want. In the springtime, we went to a salvage yard and picked up some old windows that were taken off of old RVs and we thought, oh, they're so much cheaper than buying them new. Like we can just reuse them, but they're all different. They all needed to be painted and they're some of them were not okay, but some of them were not. So we decided to splurge and buy the really nice RV windows that are seamless, like just glass, no frame around on the outside. It's six o'clock, the sun's down, it's winter time obviously, but we just got our windows in and I'm so excited to open them. big reveal. Is it broken? No, but the plastic wrap kind of makes it look broken, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the smallest window we have, and this is going to go in the kitchen over the countertops. We already got these um, from our local RV store, but of course a local RV store obviously has a markup. But so the other two windows we ordered direct from the manufacturer. So we got two of these exact same windows and they're emergency exit. So one will go in the bedroom and one will go next to the front door on the passenger side. This is the one I'm most excited about. It's the biggest one. We really decided on splurging on windows after we spent so long on the paint because we spent so much effort making the outside look so good. Why at the end of it, slap on some mismatched windows? I just, I don't know. I think windows are worth it to have good insulated windows, nice tinted windows and having mi mismatched windows all over your bus, like it, it would, would have hurt me. will be and this is where we're putting the window it's got to go through one of these beams because it's a little too big to fit in between which kind of sucks because we're installing these windows before we do the walls we need to have something around the windows for it for the trim ring to sandwich right so we're going to build a structure around using one and a half inch um, tubing, the same thing that we use for our skylight. So we have a little bit of extra that we're going to use. Cole's going to come and help us weld that, obviously. Are you ready to huh. cut the hole? <laughs> I'm going to cut the hole because I'm a little bit braver than Adam.
deep breath. It would be a lot easier if this beam wasn't here, but we gotta cut that from the inside, I think. I can't cut it with the jigsaw. Yeah. I would have just let that fall. Shit. There's a hole. I and think I think we learned our first lesson, huh? Yeah. As you cut the last little bit, push it in. Uh, it fell backwards, and my instinct was as it fell and hit the first rail was to stop it so it didn't hit the rest. But I pushed it into the bus and it frigged up her paint. So there's a couple scratches in the blue, which is not a big deal, but there is chipped out paint on the rivet and the rub rail. So now we're gonna have to do a little, little repair and fix that because that will rust. So yeah, push it in instead of letting it flop out. So we did the same thing we trace the inside of the trim ring, and then you just measure half an inch L all the way around. And then I dotted it with our white paint pen. I didn't do the whole line with the paint pen because it makes it really thick, but just so I can see the guideline with the dots is very helpful. This one should be easier because we're not going through any of the hat channels on the inside. It's in the middle, like here's a hat channel and here's a hat channel. So this is all just sheet metal. So it should be easier. And it won't fall outside and sc scratch up the paint on our bus. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna push it in this time. Push it in, let it fall in the bus. The outside of the bus, too beautiful. Too beautiful. All right, so let's drill a hole. We forgot the tape. Oh, we gotta tape it. We forgot the tape. Oh my goodness, I almost scratched it up again. <laughs> Frick. We, we both realized like at the exact same time. So don't forget the tape. We tape all the way around so that the jigsaw doesn't scratch up the paint around where we're cutting. Oh, God. Oh.
we go. We got our window in. Today, Ethan's joining us. He's uh, hanging out with us today. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that one's done. You can see how we've moved the frame around. Yeah, so this window needed to go, like, through this beam, so we had to cut it out. We just cut it out an inch and a half, like, more than the sheet metal that we cut so that we were able to fit this beam and sort of divert the load to this beam here and back to that beam. So that's how we did that one. But this one over here was perfectly in the middle of the original hat channel. So we just cut the hole and uh, put some structure around it. Now the reason you want to do this is because the window and the trim ring uh, needs to hug about an inch and five eighths of the material for it to work. So there was no way we could just do it on just the sheet metal alone. So we had to put an inch and a half of material. So we decided to use um, metal beams. So if you're gonna do metal beams like we did, you need to prime it because it is mild steel. So that's something we still have to do. Um, we're gonna install one window just to sort of finish this video. Um, we're going to do it without any butyl tape or sealant because we're going to take it off again for when we get our bus spray insulated. We don't want to have the windows like get messed up with the spray insulation. So we're just going to keep them out. But to finish this video, we're just going to sort of fake install one and just to see how it looks. So these windows are kind of perfect height for Ethan because he, him standing, that's the height of the windows. So he can look out them perfect. Could you imagine like we're in the mountains and you can see all the mountains yeah. from this window? Yeah. That'd be so cool. Well, you can just do background. You can probably do background in the windows. A background in the windows. Or we can go to a real background, like because the backgrounds are just pictures from real life. And we can go there in real life. Yeah, that'd be cool, right? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, so it took us a little bit of trial and error to find the right screws, but I think we found the right screws, finally. Now, I'm going to use some tape to tape and place the trim ring, so I can't hold shit and screw shit at the same time. We're so excited, so we just have to take the plastic off. We just need to see what it looks like. Can we do that now? Yeah. And they disappear by they, design. They really do. Well, I'll turn the light off. Wow. Oh my gosh. Now I hope you understand why we painted this whole piece black is because we wanted the windows to really like blend in and like from a distance, it would still look like a normal bus because it looks like all windows, like not really, but cause otherwise, like if this was painted blue, like you would tell that the windows weren't there. You know what I mean? So like we mentioned, the trim ring just sandwiches the structure that we built around it and Cole helped us weld those pieces together. But when we get our bus insulated and start building the walls out, we're just gonna build it right up to the edge of the windows and then we're gonna make a nice frame so that we're able to take off that wooden frame so that we are able to service the windows still. But we do wanna have it just a nice seamless frame around it just to make it look really nice. And pretty much right across from this window is where our couch is gonna be. So 
we're gonna be sitting here and it's like a perfect height for us to take in the views. And then our other window is this one here. And this is our biggest window we have. And it's actually gonna knock out two of these beams. So that's why we kept it for last. And then this is our kitchen window. So the sink will probably go right in front of it. We'll probably have a little bit of backsplash around it. But again, just like the other windows, we're gonna have our walls coming right up to the edge and then a nice wooden frame around that we can always take off if we ever need to service the window. So this one has a crank knob that we still need to get so it'll attach to this thing and we crank it to open up the window and it goes like this, just like the other one. So this window is an emergency exit. Um, it has a screen that goes inside and when you wanna just prop it open for air, it, you just leave this just like that and so then you can get lots of airflow. So if you wanna know exactly how we installed these beautiful windows into our sheet metal sides of our bus, just comment down below any specific questions you have or just like let us know if you want a how-to tutorial on how to do these windows because we're gonna make a how-to video and we'll be answering all of your questions in the comment section down below of this video in that video. And if you haven't seen our sheet metal video, that's pretty important, so go back and watch that. Yes, you need to have sheet metal sides in order to install these kinds of windows, so the reward is just amazing. Like, just yeah. look how beautiful these windows are. Yeah, you can place them wherever you want. Yeah. They can be fully du dual pane insulated so they don't get all condensated and um, just so much more customization. Yeah, we're so happy with how it turned out and we can't wait to, to do the other two, so. That big one's intimidating. Yes, and that's the one that we're gonna be doing in the how-to video, so. It's like twice as big as that one. Yeah, it's, it's a really big window. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure we had a, one really big window so that we got a lot of daylight inside of our bus. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate everyone who comments, likes, shares our videos. It really means like so much to us. And we're so excited about continuing to document our progress on the bus and sharing it with all of you guys. It's just, it's really rewarding to see you guys all enjoying our videos. So thank you guys so much and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.